Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a foundation Friday. So this isn't really a new product, but this is my first time actually trying it. And it is the Pretty Fresh um, foundation. So I was really excited when they came up with their foundation line and I was like, whoa. It's like tinted moisturizer that I don't have to wear in layers because now they have their own foundation so yes i got mine in three different shades because it was i mean i i appreciate the fact that they were matching the shade colors with a face but at the same time i was like <sighs> i was overwhelmed and i had no idea what the hell my shade was especially since i don't have a summer shade this year i've just been all one shade and i feel like i've been getting lighter so i mean yeah but I did stick to the medium range. I guess I just kind of fluctuated between light and a little bit medium. So there's three that we're going to be swatching. And with these products, I will be using my Pretty Fresh um, primer and all that stuff. I haven't primed my face yet, so I'm going to do that right now. Alright, we are primed. We are pretty fresh and smells good. Um, as you guys can tell, it is raining back behind me. It's been raining since pretty much the night before, just like straight through. And then I thought it was going to stop raining last night, but then it started raining again like really early this morning. So I am loving it. It's definitely putting me in that fall mood. And I'm like, you know what? Since all this stuff is going on, I might as well finish painting my room and start putting up all my Halloween decor and finish all these DIY products that I've been holding off for a while. So that way I can show you guys like my, ooh, excuse me, my pretty much my spooky room vanity, you know, that I'm putting together and it goes really well with spooky Sunday. So anyways, let's move on to the foundation. So I haven't really swatched these yet just because I've been waiting for all these new ColourPop products to come in. And so, that, so I've got this in the shade medium ADW got medium 100W and I've got medium 110W so straight up they look so similar but I'm like starting I'm gravitating more towards this middle one for some reason which is 100W so this is the kind of um, applicator it has the same as the pretty fresh um, primer Ooh, runny hmm Maybe that's the 100. Where's the 80? I feel like, isn't 80 the lighter one? I think it is. Oh, I think that's too light, maybe. Maybe I can mix it. Wow, it's really hard to tell. I don't know. Let me check in my normal mirror. I think I'm just going to go ahead and mix the two just to feel a little safer. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on my face. So let's hope that that's enough product because it it feels a, like a lot. I feel like the consistency is very runny. It's not as thick. It's not like moussey like. Um, I don't know what kind of coverage this foundation has. Let's see. It's a hydrating foundation with skin perfecting medium buildable coverage for natural healthier looking skin. Okay, so medium coverage. Let's see. Well, that's really good covering up some of my blemishes right now. I've been feeling so fatigued this week. Like I think it's that time of the month almost. And I've just I've just hit a new time um low of PMSing like like ugh, I think it's because I'm just getting older. And ugh, it just really sucked. Getting old kind of sucks sometimes. It really does. Wow. Okay. So, let's get that out of my face. Right off the bat, foundation feels really lightweight. I can definitely feel like there's a layer on my skin. I don't think it feels breathable in a way. It is lightweight though, so it doesn't feel heavy um, or like really thickening or cakey on my skin. It feels nice. It has pretty good coverage, actually, and I did put 
quite a good amount and mixing it I think was the best thing to do for my skin color you know what color pop if you guys came out with a pretty fresh powder setting powder I'd be right there I'd be right there waiting because I can't remember if there was a concealer did they come out with a concealer I'm pretty sure they did because I know I have some hold on let me grab that because we're doing a full face anyways but I just won't show you guys like the rest of the look we're just gonna do like base products together and that's it haha -ha. so yes I do I've got four of them actually I bought four of them just because I have like concealer shades and different shades and I have this like dark brown one for a contour shade so I'm gonna use this lighter one which is medium 90w and we're just gonna put that all over my face or not all over just I'm just using it as concealer so I can't remember which one was like yeah this is the right shade because I had one that was more of like a natural skin color and I love this concealer this is like one of my favorite concealers ever I forgot I even had it I haven't used it in so long I haven't worn any makeup all week so this is really the perfect week for me to just do like a like a really neutral natural looking makeup look and the rain looks so nice so by the way if you guys are new to my channel please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content I do film every Friday I try to get my videos up on Friday most of the time I do Sometimes I don't just because I do work a full-time job. Um, I'm not a full-time YouTuber as much as I would like to be just because I don't make anything from YouTube. So, you know, I got to make money to do these videos for you guys. And I do upload on Sundays at the moment called Spooky Sunday. And I'm pretty much doing that for the month of September and all the way through Halloween. So, yeah. That is where I share my spooky Halloween finds and, you know, things that you can find, like, on a budget that are, like, really good deals. Um, they're not just at the store, but they're also, like, online. And I'll also be sharing you with you guys, like, my paranormal stories that have happened in this house. Because I haven't really given you guys an update since last year of me moving into this house. And, boy, has so much happened. Like, you guys wouldn't even believe it. But I did manage to get some of it. On recording and so one of those videos you guys might see my husband on it so yeah so now that we've done that I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the setting powder that you know Colourpop does have in banana I'm hoping banana is not too okay it looks so much darker in the pan for some reason but you know it's because of some of the bad experiences I've been having with these like cheap banana setting powders Ugh. Some are just way too dark. I think they like misconceive the whole banana thing. So now that I've done powdering my face, because I might end up baking it, even though I'm not worried about my face melting off today, um, I will be back once I finish my, my makeup. So yes, be right back. All right, I am back, you guys, and looking at my time, I do have enough time to go over these products. But first, I'm going to spray my face with a pretty fresh hyaluronic setting mist. Mm. Wow, I missed that. I haven't used this in so, in a while. Just because I hate wearing tinted moisturizers. I want, like, actual foundation. So... The rest of the new products that I finally got and that I want to talk to you guys about, I will do, like, maybe in another makeup video, like, some of the eye looks that, well, actually, well, you know, the eye looks I like to put on Instagram, of course, but I will share with you guys, like, the new products that I've gotten, and we will, you know, wear one of the blushes and some of the new lipstick. So, first, I've got the Candy Castle um, Press Powder Palette. This is the eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, I used to play the hell out of this game when I was a kid, and I think a pan just fucking fell out. Oh my god, where did it go? No! It died. It literally died and destroyed itself. I cannot find the pan, but I did get a little bit of the product left. Just to swatch. 
what this freaking product looks like. And that's pretty much what it looks like. Luckily, it's nothing that I will be wearing. So, yeah. This is what it looks like. It's a really silvery, um, shimmery shadow. Crap. Wow. I cannot believe that happened. Okay, the pan didn't fall out. It was literally the entire product that fell out of the, the little, little pan. See? You see that? And I literally just got in the mail. Only used it once just to use pink. Like, I only used these two colors. Well, at least it's a shade that I know I will not be using. So, yeah. This is what, you know, the Candy Castle palette looks like. After it's been destroyed. Wow. Glowing lip balm. That's what it is. This is the glowing lip balm. I have them in all three shades, which I think is Peppermint Frost, Mr. Mint, and Let's Chill. So, I know I've seen in the video that these are pretty much just a, um, why is my video blurring? These are pretty much just like a lip tint. It's kind of like lip balm or like, not really lip gloss because it comes in a stick form like lipstick, but it's like lip balm. It gives like a little minty feel kind of to it so it just gives like a little tin that's all it really does so i might be using um was it mr mint or something like that yeah i might be using this later today and then the other products i got these are the um bloom i think this was from like the cactus succulent uh like it was like a succulent collection that they they got but i got these duos which pretty much is like the pressed powdered blush and there was like either a lip lux oil and i think that was all that was in it i got four different kinds like literally let's see yeah they're all blushes and all oil so that's what's all is in these packages and i got four different kinds like i got them all and i had opened one of them just to see like size reference like what it would look like so these are the um, blush little things. This is really cute because it's like literally a mint, mint like compact. And this is what the, this shade, this is what shade of blush I'm holding in my hand, which is in the shade Tearing Up My Heart. Tearing, Tearing Up My Heart. Yeah. So it's a really cute name. And this is the lip oil that came um, with this box. And this is actually really cute. I'm trying to get more and more of these lip oils and the lipsticks and lip glosses. I honestly, I really like them all, so I can't really say what's my favorite. I haven't really opened up all the other ones yet, but I'm going to do that right now. So here is the other one. Here is the next one. This one I definitely like. That's definitely my kind of color blush. I'm going to put that one aside. Because I think I'll be using that one. And here is the next one. This one I really like. This is pretty. I think I just spit bubbles. Um, Yeah, this is really, really pretty. This will look really good on top of like a red lipstick or something. Or a dark pink. But yeah. So that was all the blushes and the lip oils that went with them. I'm definitely going to go for um this one that I picked up called Desert Rose. So I have my brush. And I'm going to just... See how it picks up. Wow, it's very light, actually. It's definitely got a lot of uh, pickup because it's powdery. And it has like a, a shimmer to it, actually. Yeah, that's really nice. Pretty. It's very, very natural looking, I would say. Yeah, this is a very natural looking finish which I don't mind no problem whatsoever and this is I don't know if I want to use this or if I want to use this maybe I'll use this just because there's no point in me wearing um any kind of lip anything just because I wear a mask oh wow that's quite a tint mmm it does have a minty feel to it. Mmm. Interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little 
um, Foundation Friday and little ColourPop makeup haul. Um, I will see you guys on Sunday with some really good shopping finds and maybe a little update on what's going on leading up to, you know, all of our paranormal stories. So I will see you guys on Sunday. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Until then, bye!